Hi, Stu Barn here, and in this video we are looking at the minor pentatonic scale caged shape 4 over a major chord. First of all, again we're going to do it in the key of A, so the A minor pentatonic scale caged shape 4 looks like this. I'll put a link down below so you can get it on screen or print it off, whatever's easiest. And again, what we want to do is to visualize the chord that we're playing over, and the a major chord shape that occupies this same region as this scale shape is naturally A major KJ4, which is this. Again, let's play through the scale and you should see that there is a disagreement, just like with the previous shapes. So that note there, that I was trying to emphasize, is the note that clashes, uh, well, clashes particularly against this note of the chord. So this note is called a 3 relative to this chord shape or this chord. This one is called a flat 3 which is what you normally find in a minor chord. It happens to be in our minor scale. Again don't worry if those names don't mean anything to you. They're just names for the time being. We'll deal with it on a technical level in the future. So knowing in advance that this is a tension note is good for us musically. It means we can choose to create tension deliberately rather than just uh, reacting to a series of surprises not knowing very much about the shape we're using. Quick demonstration of the tension it creates. So there it is, quite a nice tension. Um, Again, we can bend this note a little bit towards the third of the chord. Um, if you don't bend it all the way, just a partial bend, then that's called a blues curl, and it's a very effective and authentic bluesy sound that um, the singers and guitarists and almost all bluesy um, styles of music include. Quick demonstration of a blues curl. So it should be a very familiar sound. We've all been listening to these blues curls for a long time. Some more than others. Um, okay, so then as well as having this flat third here, there is the same note down here that occurs elsewhere in the scale. We can't see that this clashes with the chord visually, but it is. This, this same note here could be here or would be here if we do an octave up. The same mechanics apply. So let's just quickly try and demonstrate using both of those flat thirds. So there you have it. As usual, make this a part of your practice regime if you're not overly confident about using this shape, um, put in a good week of time. Just work over an A major as I suggest. Um, you can change the key obviously to keep it interesting, just obviously change the minor pentatonic scale as well. As usual please give it a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful and click subscribe so I can send you more of them. See you in the next video.